Thank you for joining us, Simon Motorsports. A little tech tip on taking your six-speed transmission out. Um, it brought to my attention that we get guys who call up and say this inner race that goes in the inner primary will be right up against your high gear. So Jim's tool that we use, it's the best tool out there, by the way, won't fit in here. Okay, so a little tech tip. Take the nut loose on your trap door. Take a little hammer, tap it gentle. The tool now will slip right behind it and you can pull it off. Now keep in mind, all this has been set up for, to show you how it works. This is a press fit. You need a gems tool for putting it back on. You need the gems tool to take it off. So now look over here at the shaft. This is what happens when you don't have the proper tool and or this is up against six speed you can't get the tool behind it so people are getting the cutoff wheel cutting it and then they hurt the shaft now they didn't ruin the shaft but there's no need to do that you tap the main shaft over and it gives you that little gap air gap and the gym's tool fits right in there and and by the way never ever use an impact always by hand put a little oil on it and it'll last you a lifetime. Never use an impact. That's a little tech tip on the Harley six speed and five speed. So when you're in a race is jammed up against high gear, you loosen the nut on the opposite side from the main shaft, tap it with a little hammer lightly. The main shaft comes over approximately 60 to 80 thousandths. You put your tool in there and you pull it off and you can reuse it. Okay, there's one other thing we need to discuss how to determine an M8 shift drum from a twin cam. <clears throat> the transmissions are the same, but the M8 has a different location for the neutral light. I'll explain to you and show you how to look. So we have uh, some people calling up and say they switched their trance and now their, shift, uh, their uh, neutral light stays on. So here's the key. <clears throat> this is a brand new twin cam transmission. Um, if you're looking at down at the transmission, there's a little detent right here. Let me get that ugly finger out of there. So that little detent, that's neutral. So this one here is in neutral, okay? If you look, that's a neutral. So if you take this mark here on a twin cam and you put a screwdriver down there, you see where it falls right here? That's a twin cam. Here's your M8. You see where screwdriver falls? That's an M8. That's a twin cam. You come over here. This is an M8. The M8 neutral light is right here. So as we put this in, you'll follow it. That lines up with the neutral light. That's how you tell whether you have a twin cam or an M8. <clears throat> so again, we're in neutral. Detents in neutral. This one here is really hard to see. But if you look down inside here, you can see that it is in neutral. Okay. All right. So we know we're in neutral. This is a brand new one that just came in. Again, when it's in neutral, you take a screwdriver and you see the distance where the bolt is. That's a twin cam. This is an M8. Look at the difference. Say it. So some people like to say, well, this one's at one o'clock and this one's at two o'clock. However you want to look at it. If you look at this side, that side, but you need to know the difference. Twin cam, M8. M8 is more straight up and down. It goes into the case, the neutral light. On a twin cam, the neutral light is over here. M8 is almost, we'll call it almost straight up and down. Very important. <clears throat> one other thing. All of our transmissions that come with the anti-rattle first gear, we preload it and we mark them. You see that mark? Very important. That gets preloaded, the right tension, and that mark is uh, painted so you know it's been preloaded in the right spot. Otherwise, it will rattle when you put it in gear. <clears throat> so that's uh, the last little tin bit we have on the transmissions. Again, we do a back cut service. We do trap doors, build it our own. So good luck. Any questions, call us 215-435-1500.
0149. Thank you and have a blessed day.